Welcome back to Highlighting Staten Island. So in this episode, we're going to discover 10303. So 10303 is a zip code with a huge maritime history. And as usual, we're not going to talk about it. We're just going to get out there and show you. Let's go. Let's get out of here. The 10303 zip code is located directly between the Bayonne Bridge and the Gothels Bridge. It is comprised of neighborhoods like Graniteville, Mariner's Harbor, and Arlington. It is, like I said earlier, steeped in maritime history. There's views of the bridges throughout the entire zip code. It has a very urban, industrial feel. There's a lot of warehouses, storage places, a lot of things in the shipping business. Um, dry docks, obviously, anything water-related is in abundance over here. And naturally, there's some really cool parks in the area, obviously playing up on the accessibility of water in this zip code. Richmond Terrace Park is one of those. It's got a pier, juts out into the water. It's got benches facing the water all throughout the park. It's a cool, narrow, little pathway that's kind of right off the terrace. And you got views of the Bayonne Bridge. Cool place to just kind of park and, and, and have a seat and hang out, look out over the water. Uh, we filmed this on a cloudy day, but nonetheless, you could see that it can be a, a pretty place to relax and hang out. You got these cool plaques throughout the park showing off, um, you know, the neighborhoods and, and little informational pieces. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool place, pretty unique. One thing that I found really, really awesome was when I was on this path walking back to the car after filming over here, I saw 100,000 oysters, pieces of oysters all in the dirt. So it really shows that this is a water town over here. Now, houses in these neighborhoods, you have a mixture. It's very similar to 10301, 10302 that we've already done. It's North Shore. It's more urban. You're going to have these older big colonials. You're going to have these two families, six over sixes, like you see right here. Uh, you know, a, a lot of two families, a lot of three family, four family and up. A lot of Victorian houses, big, beautiful Victorians. That's a pretty much a symbol of the North Shore. And, you know, housing is housing is just very diversified as you drive around. Like, look at this. Look at this big, beautiful Victorian. You know, you don't really have that on the South Shore. Uh, and then it's next to these old colonials. It's just, it's a pretty cool mixture. You have commercial buildings thrown into the mix. I mean, look, it's right next to a house. You know, it's, it's uh, as you drive from block to block, you know, pretty much every, every block is different. It's, you, you, you feel like you're somewhere else. The houses are all different. And there's some, some really nice stuff. So now some more things in the area. You have the Mariner's Harbor Yacht Club, right? There's, there's a bunch of things around that, again, show you that you are in a water district. The New York Global Container Terminal is located right here, foot of the Gothels Bridge. Plays a major part in worldwide shipping. It has everything you need, railways, obviously highway access, so, you know, 18-wheelers can pull right up. The boats, the big barges pull right up from, you know, the other side of the world. And, you know, this is shipping and, and worldwide commerce at its finest right here on Staten Island. You have creeks, you have obviously the Gothels Bridge, like I said. Now, the Gothels Bridge does have a pedestrian walkway. I didn't know that. I thought it was only the Bayonne Bridge, but both bridges have it. And there's some cool wildlife stuff over here. You have this birding trail. You have a launch, uh, a boat launch for kayaks. I mean, look at this. You, you walk right down here with the kayak, you launch right off, and you're in this cool little creek. So, you know, who knew? Who, who knew about any of this stuff? It was, it was really cool to see when we made this episode. Uh, you got really nice bike trails. And again, this is all pretty much at the foot of the Gothels. Very interesting thing as well over here. You have New York City's only mobile housing community. When you think of New York City, you don't think of trailer parks, essentially. But it exists right here. I mean, there's a certain number. And, and look, I mean, they're all kind of cute, colorful, you know, little mobile homes. It's, it's really cool. It's the only one in New York City right here at the foot of the Gothels Bridge. There's the Mariner's Harbor Public Library. It opened up to much fanfare about 10 years ago. It's supposed to be reminiscent of an oyster. Again, water, 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 right? That's the name of the game around here. Very cool. And you have, of course, Forest Avenue, South Avenue, uh, a big commercial district. You have the big movie theater. You have a lot of great restaurants, a lot of businesses. You know, Real Madrid, phenomenal, been around forever. 
And then you also have the Graniteville Quarry Park. So this was actually a quarry in the mid to late 1800s. The Bennett family, who Bennett Street is named after in Port Richmond, ran it. And it was a quarry. It sat untouched for about 100 years. And then in, during the building boom of the 80s and 90s, it became a dumping ground for dirt fill. And it has since been obviously filled in. But uh, it, very interesting history that it was once a legitimate quarry. And that's also how Graniteville gets its name. So, you know, there's a lot of history and whatnot in, in the words and, and neighborhood names and street names that you hear around Staten Island. So anyway, this is 10303. Again, anytime you have any questions, you want to explore anything further, anything at all, please reach out to Joseph Renola or Jose Matias from Matias Real Estate. Thank you. Have a great day.